Yeah. How long had you had the um, dreads? What uh, since sixth grade. Since sixth grade? Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Was it? Is it symbolic of anything? No. Nah. Cutting that hair? No. Nah, not really. No? So I woke up one day and said, let's do it. <laughs> Alan, um, you know, how, how have you grown through your struggles, your challenges? And you've had some, you know, at least physically, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, I had a lot of adversity, you know, um, battling some injuries, you know. But that always humble and motivate you going on. So always just know, like, to keep motivation and keep pushing because you know what you've been through. Okay. Uh, how, how, he asked me this, how is your, all your stuff, how's your hand, you know, the, I know you broke your thumb. Yeah. How is that? Um, oh, I see. I got to take it up, but right now I'm feeling better than ever. This is the best I ever felt in a long time. So I'm excited to get out of here and compete. How about everything else, shoulder? Oh, it's great. I feel like I want to go through every body part. How about your head? <laughs> oh, everything is great. I'm feeling totally good. Last season, you know, what was that like? Because you were a veteran already last season. Yeah. You, were, you start out with a great game. Yeah. And then you had all these concussion problems and stuff. Um, how'd you get through that mentally? Um, you know, I, I just prayed and left it to God. You know, I, I went through some things, but at the end of the day, I finished the season. You know, I still there with my teammates. I didn't give up on it. I just kept motivation and kept going. Is it a different perspective for you being a senior now? Yeah, you know, things is like much more serious right now because you know, you know it's your last go around. So you're just in tune with everything. Hey, Alan, these young guys, you've seen them in 7-on-7. Seven seven. Who are some of the incoming freshmen that have really impressed you that maybe can help out right away? Um, we got a lot of guys doing a lot of good things. You know, Stacy Cooley, he came out here doing a lot of good things. Artie Burns, Laquan Elder. There's a lot of good, a lot of people doing a lot of good things. I'll talk about Stacy since he's a receiver also. You know, what have you seen from him? Um, he, he, he got a lot of speed, and he's very mature in, my, in his route running. So I'm very excited to see what he's going to do today. Alan, what's it been like for you to have to fight through all the things you've had to fight through in, in your time here? you know, all the different injuries and setbacks? Uh, it, it's been tough, but at the end of the day, you just got to get up and do it, leave it in God's hands, come out here and pray before you come out here and play. And when you get on the field, and once you're around your teammates, they always give a positive attitude, so it's fun. It's all good. Now that you're older, sense of urgency? Yeah, it, it's a lot more. You know, as you're a senior, it's your last go around, so you take things more, much more important. Your senior year coming back from these injuries, what's your goal for camp and for this year? Um, right now, I'm just focused on camp. I haven't um, set any goals out yet. I'm just focused on camp right now. On Stephen Morris, what do you think is an important attribute or strength of his uh, that can help him succeed and also help the receiving core succeed? Um, Stephen, his knowledge of the game is like outrageous because his, his, I'm sorry. his knowledge of the game is like outrageous because he knows different situations he put us in. We always communicate so he knows what's going to happen and things like that. So this all season we worried a lot on timing and things like that. Also, 